It's been a busy year for Lacey Nymeyer, as she has moved from a member of the UA's national championship swim team to an Olympic silver medalist. And now that the Olympics have come to a close for her, she reflects on some of her favorite aspects of competing in Beijing. Definitely being in the Olympic Village, just kind of having that environment and being around the best athletes in the world in every single sport imaginable was, it was an amazing atmosphere and it was, you know, mostly countries kind of hung out together. I mean, but I would go sit with anyone who had a USA on their, you know, uniform, so that was cool. and. So you kind of get that cultural aspect because different sports are different personalities, different people. And then, you know, being like at our university, we had over, you know, 15 just swimmers from different countries. And so I was sitting with them and talking with them and their teammates. And definitely it was, you know, a, a wide variety of cultures and people and personalities. But we all had one goal, which was to be the best physically we could possibly be. But how does Nymeyer feel about transitioning from the world stage back to a regular school schedule? I love it. I actually like school and, you know, I like the structure of it. I like learning new things, meeting new people. Well, I'm a physical education major and I think I really would like to get into middle school. And, you know, I think that's an age where, you know, you're old enough where you can do more advanced things in physical education and then you also haven't hit high school where you just want to be lazy and not do anything. Um, I grew up here in Tucson and I went to ele an elementary school, Richardson, and my kindergarten teachers are die-hard Arizona Wildcat fans. Like even when I was in kindergarten, they wore an Arizona t-shirt every time there was an you know, Arizona athletic event, whether it was basketball, football, track, whatever, and you know, they are pretty much the funnest elementary school teachers I think there's ever been. And so they have put together this assembly to honor the Olympics and I get to be the Olympian that comes and talks to them. Assembly might be something of an understatement. Richardson Elementary School spent weeks planning the event, which incorporated Lacey's former teachers, a tribute video, and even a song written on behalf of Lacey. I've always tried to take the approach of swimming is something that I do and it's not who I am and you know I think by you know, making other things a priority in my life like my church, like school, like my friends that it really does put swimming in perspective and I'm not just a swimmer, I'm not just you know an Olympian now. It's, you know, it's just something that I've done. It was a project that I was able to experience and you know, if I can share that and if people are interested in it and if I can promote my sport, it's all the better.